but start off by explaining um, how it works. Yeah, so as a client, you sign up, you let us know your general size and style preferences, and then we'll have a stylist who will put together five things for you to try on at home. So it's kind of like having a boutique send um, your favorite items, like a fitting room delivered to your home. You simply try everything on at home, send back what you don't want, keep what you want. Easy peasy. And I got my first Stitch Fix box over the weekend, so, so I, I, I had two out of five, two out of five things that I'm going to keep. Is that is that pretty good in terms yeah, of Yeah, that's very good. I think, you know, we really think of that as being kind of the model experience, actually. So the idea is that you get five things, you can explore what's working for you, what's not working for you, um, and two seems like kind of a good number where you're going to feel satisfied and feel um, excited about what you're keeping and that you got to choose what you loved. Now, one thing that surprised me is that you guys have 2,000 employees now, and I wonder how you scale this because, you know, making sure that you're truly attending to the personal desires of every single customer is a really difficult job. How are you doing this? Absolutely, and that personalization is really what is unique about Stitch Fix. So every single fix, the fix that you got, is unique just for you and not for anybody else. And the way we're able to achieve that is actually combining the best of both worlds in art and science, which is why we're here at the technology conference, really. Um, so we have dozens of engineers. We have over 40 data scientists who are all working with us so that we can help build tools so that our stylists can use algorithms to send you the best fix, so that our buyers can use algorithms to make sure we're stocking the right styles. So we really use the best of Silicon Valley combined with retail to be able to deliver this truly personalized experience in a way that's um, really scalable. And one of the things that was interesting that I enjoyed was these little style cards that came with different ways to style each items that maybe I might not have thought of it. You know, it wasn't just a shirt in a box. Um, buy buttons. I know Pinterest, it, it, you ask for in information from Pinterest, you ask people to send you style boards. How optimistic are you about buy buttons? A lot of companies are experimenting with them, but we've yet to see real progress. Yeah, I mean, I think the buy button is really reflecting the way that people are finding inspiration now. And so I think less and less people are finding inspiration in the pages of magazines or in the displays of stores, but they're finding inspiration on Instagram and Pinterest. And we certainly see that at Stitch Fix. And so you think linking, people are going to buy with the I buy button? I think so. I think that's where people are finding their inspiration and I think people will love to be able to do an impulse buy with a button.